Hi, Bill. <laughs> Daddy! Hey, Clarice. Oh, right. Did you get any bad guys today, Daddy? No, Angel, they all got away. Daddy. Shh. Starling. Johnson, good job. Good entry, good command. Starling, where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check the corner? No, sir. That's the reason you're dead. 3109. Breaking doors or windows to enter or exit. Uh, rule 404. Thanks, Ardelia. Starling? Sir? Miggs is dead. Dad? How? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Starling? Yeah, I'm, I'm still here, sir. I just... I don't know how to feel about this. You don't have to feel any way about it. Lecter did it to amuse himself. Look, I know it got ugly today, but he mentioned a name at the end. Uh, Moffat. Any follow-up on her? Um, well, Lecter altered or destroyed most of his patients' histories prior to capture, so there's no record of anyone named Moffat. But um, I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter, so... I figured he's from Baltimore, and I looked in the phone book, and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. Unit 35 was leased for 10 years, prepaid in full. The contract is in the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. Privacy is a great concern to my customers. Uh, yes, I won't disturb anything, I promise. I'll be out of here before you know it. Can I help you? Yes, actually, you can't. Oh. Stuck. You could have returned tomorrow with my son. What about him? I would ask my driver to help you, but he detests physical labor. Right. Well, you just stay here. I'll be back in one minute. Oh, um, if this door should fall down or <laughs> anything else, uh, this is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now, they know that you're with me. You call them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss. <laughs>
Esther Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, doctor? Esther Moffat, the rest of me. Miss, the rest of me? Meaning that you rented that garage? Thank you. Your bleeding has stopped. How did you? It's nothing. It's just a scratch. Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? Well, do you know something about him? I might if I saw the case file. You could get that for me. Well, why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? You wanted me to find him. His real name is Benjamin Raspell, a former patient of mine whose romantic attachments ran to, shall we say, the exotic. I did not kill him, I assure you, merely tucked him away very much as I found him after he'd missed three appointments. But if you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. His dress, uh, makeup, Raspo was a transvestite? In life? Oh, no. Garden variety manic depressive. Tedious. Very tedious. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's first effort at transformation. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Scared at first, then. Exhilarated. Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? Apparently, he likes you, and you like him, too. I never thought about it. Do you think Jack Crawford wants you sexually? True, he is much older, but do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges, fucking you? 